the singular honor to bring to this podium the, the man we are all here to celebrate. The man that we are all here to see that all the dreams of all the youths, the Nigerian with the passionate mind of Nigeria. Come 2023, please, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I beg you, on this very singular note, we be quiet and listen to the words of wisdom from the man that God has ordained with the wisdom of Solomon to lead the Nigerian people away from this journey of no return. Please, make welcome His Excellency, Mr. Peter Obi, to the microphone. Please, put your hands together. Let me respectfully stand on all due and existing protocols. First is the most sincerely thank you. And all that are gathered here for this warm reception. I was just coming quietly for what I consider a private visit because I'm still going to come when the campaign starts. But I've chosen as our own father to come privately and say we're about to commence campaign, but it turned into another thing. But I'm sincerely grateful. Your Majesty, when the campaign starts, I'll be able to come and tell you why we started this movement we're trying to do. It is a simple movement. A movement for the youth to take back their country. A movement that will go a long way to show how things have gone wrong in our country. I told you privately, and I say it every day, we can't live in a country where criminals, in all of us, call our first politician, have taken over the country. We live in a country where our children are not in school for eight months. We live in a country where 55% of our young people don't know where the next meal will come from. We live in a country where over 100 million people live in poverty. We live in a country where 20 million out of school children. We live in a country where infant mortality is, we have now overtaken India a country of 1.4 billion, and we're 200. The list is endless. We live in a life where life don't make any meaning to anybody any longer. Anybody could be kidnapped, anybody could be killed, and nobody cares. We cannot continue that way. We are the only country in the world where government officials because I want to say who does that. Still the assets of the country, 50%, over 50% of oil production is stolen. Nobody here can steal oil. Oil is not sweet you put in pocket. Those who are still oil are people in government. Subsidy is organized crime. And this must all stop. We cannot continue that way. When I come to campaign, I will explain that. All that is keeping our children from going to school, all that is keeping them from going to school today, is because ASU University Association said in 2009 that they should be giving 
some money to renovate schools. They were not asking money for anything. When Nigeria was what it used to be, this city was a city of reference because of University of Ife. This university produced the world-class pharmacist that is known globally. I came here as a student in university to just come and tour the tour of Ife and see the university. I don't know how many young people now who wants to come to Ife just to see the university and appreciate the king. Nobody. I don't know how many because they're not even safe if they come. They don't know whether they will go back safely. That is how bad it is. Look at the lovely thing you showed me today about the history of this famous place. That people pay thousands in the western world to go and see. But nobody wants to come and see it because the children are hungry. They don't know where the next meal will come from. So the university demanded to just to be given 1.3 trillion in 2009. That's all they demanded. Federal government have paid them 200 billion and they're owing them the balance. And they say there's no money. Yes, there's no money. And everybody agrees there's no money. But if I tell you what has been in July, just to give example, because I haven't come to campaign. Who we'll come for campaign? In July alone, we are the only OPEC country who is not producing our quota. The only OPEC country. In July alone, our quota is 1.8 million per day. In July, we produce 1 million 83,000. So 717 is missing. If you multiply 717 by 31 days, it will give you 22 million 227,000 barrels. That's what we'll miss in July. If you multiply it by the average price of that month's sales, $110,000, it will give you $2,445,000,000. If you multiply it with 50, 550, Naira. How did I get 559 instead of using 650? They said the official rate is 410 KBAC. A black market where people like me buy is 610. If you put two of them, it's 1,100. Divide it to get the average. You have 550. If you use 550 to multiply 2 billion 445 million dollars, it will give you 1 trillion. 344 billion 750 million naira. They only want all they want, all us you want is 1.1 trillion. In one month, we lost 1 trillion 344 billion 750 million. So if we are giving if we are saved that and giving us their money, we'll still have extra 200 billion which would have completed Lagos about the express road. They will not do it because it's been stolen by people in government. Nobody's looking for them. In two th August, KBSC, that month, throughout the month, we only produced 975. August was worse. So 825 was missing every day. We didn't produce it. For one month, it's 25 million. 4,500 is about 2.5 billion dollars. For the by 550 is 1.4 trillion. No country can exist like that. Our children are hungry. Parents, people cannot live. Nobody can continue this way. We must have a country. We cannot allow our country to be taken over by criminals. And I'm saying to the youth, and I'm saying to everybody, next year's election will not be based on tribe. Yes, Nobody should vote for me because I'm an Igbo man. Nobody should vote for me because I'm a Southeastern. No. 
don't vote for me because of my religion. They don't try where poor people are enjoying free food. Poor people don't buy bread cheaper in southwest than people in southeast. They don't have uninterrupted electricity. Poor people in Nigeria everywhere are suffering. The youth everywhere in Nigeria are suffering. So let us listen to the tribe. It is that we politicians, the elites, have to manipulate you. Enough. Don't look at our religion. Let nobody tell you it is an entitlement. It is nobody's turn. It is Nigerian turn. The turn of Nigerian youth. So nobody will take anything from them this time. Nobody is entitled to it. And don't take their money. It's your money that they're giving you. They didn't print the money. All of us, if I bring money, take it. Don't vote for me based on money. We must now vote for character, competence, capacity, commitment to turn around Nigeria. I'm begging everybody to help us. Craft said, what be responsible. This country can work. This country can produce food it can eat. How can we live in this vast land and we cannot produce our food? We cannot produce food when our people are going hungry. Until I come for campaign. That day I will be able to tell you what we will do. How we will do it. How this great place can do what it will do. It is not campaign time. But we have a vast land. My proposal is that I want to turn this place from consumption to production. People can no longer continue to live in a land where we cannot feed ourselves. One state in Nigeria can feed Nigeria. Yes. Top class of 30 states. I was in Niger State on Sunday and I told them we cannot continue to live here. Niger State is 76.3 thousand square kilometers of land. They can't see themselves. They can't see Nigeria. They are waiting to be given money from private oil in Niger Delta. Netherlands in Europe Minus water is at 3,000 square kilometers, can they see? Belgium is 30,000, 30.9 thousand square kilometers. So, Niger State is bigger than Netherlands and Belgium put together. Those two countries did their sports of what? almost 1 trillion. 1 trillion. That is an export. <laughs> Netherlands export of food is one point one hundred and twenty billion dollars. Belgium, so both of them export of food products is almost two hundred billion dollars. If you combine the two of them, I'm not talking about manufactured goods. If Niger State did 1% of that, 1%, $2 billion, is over a trillion naira. About eight times their budget. Here they are looking for this. People are looking for food. I flew down from Akure to here. Fast land, all cultivated. I used to be looking for money. They are looking for food. We will give them money. We will support them to be productive for exports. That's what other countries are doing. Then more countries. Countries with less than our population. We are all 209 million people living on 923,000 square kilometers of land. And our export is just about 40 billion dollars. Israel is 9 million. So if you announce there are 9 million, about 200 million people still living. I will give them 9 million. 
They are living on 22,000 square kilometers. If we put it out of 23, we still have 900. Their export is 69.8 billion. A little more export. There are 200 million people living on almost 25 times their land. It cannot continue. We must take back our country. My offer is forget about what anybody is telling you. Please put us on a scale. Let's vote for merit now so this country can move. Cadiz, thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.